are talk about Hawaii, what do you think of paradise, right? Full of nice people, they live a casual lifestyle, they care about nothing, you know. Always so sweet, and the sun is the greatest sun and beach, the Waikiki beach. Uh, but for me, it's a um, really dreamy place, but it contains and um, it's a place that lies an uncatchable dream for me. Um, I had found tried to find love in this place, but then it just left me a pity and a bittersweet memory. So. Some time ago, I flew away from Hong Kong to Hawaii by myself. I was trying to see a guy that I think that we were introduced from some by some family members, and then I decided that I should go see him and see if we can get along and if it can work out the relationship. And uh, so it was a. Uh, a week trip, but most of the time, I would say during this trip, I feel a bit um, pitiful and a bit disappointed and upset. Um, this guy is a really, really cool guy. He is nice and is a gentleman, uh, but he has a really strong character. Like nobody can force him to do something he does not want to do. So when his mom, um, he his mom really want us to, you know, become friends and try and see things to happen. His mom uh, has tried a few times to ask him to take me around the city and to spend some time with me and get to know me. But he just wanted to stick around at home, playing computer games or anything, take a rest. And because he just got back home from another state, he was on duty for a position that I'm not gonna tell. And yeah, he refuses it. So it's so awkward. I feel. Um, all the day long, I was living in his house, waiting for him to to talk with me and to um, to get to know each other. But then he just one one time, uh, time after time, he just rejected it. He we denied it, and so largely one day uh, because. Um, his mom asked again, and his mom cannot take me to the city, so we went out to the Pearl Harbor, and I would say uh, it's such a great moment during these seven days, because finally we got to spend time alone, and yeah, he is funny. I remember we were on a submarine, and He's he's really naughty. He tried to um try to catch my shoulder and scare me like he's gonna throw me into the water and yeah there's some great laughs and he also uh, made me a badge made out of coins and uh, yes and we walk around the the military facilities and he explained some history to me and yeah he is so knowledgeable and it's a visionary you you would say that he is so smart and nice gentleman but the only thing is that he does not um he does not like me um he said that he does not have the time and uh he has lots of things to do uh, for his career, for his work, and he has no time to start a relationship. And so finally, I flew my back, work, uh, way back home, and I would think that, no, I'm going to work hard, 
and become the girl that he wants. He wants to spend time with the girl that could interest him. You know, I'm working on this, and there's a moment I still think that I'm gonna wait for him. Maybe someday I make him change his mind, but no. Um, I has hold on for like a few words, but then I I become become awake and sober. I know that no, he does not want a relationship with me at all. He does not want to even get to know me. It's not gonna happen. He might have forgotten me. So why hold on to it? So I just stop. But I'm still holding to the wish that I'm gonna be the best of myself. I'm gonna be more confident and more outspoken, and uh, I I should learn to uh, be interesting things like that, or things to better myself. But this time is for me, or for any potential um, guys that.